हेलो नमस्ते सर नमस्ते 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 स्क्रीन प्रोसेस नको केले पदे सर ओके या एवरीथिंग चेयरमैन सर इज जॉइनिंग एस ओ गुड ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞുണ്ട് രണ്ട് മിനിറ്റ് ഒരു ഇന്ട്രോ കഴിഞ്ഞിട്ട് ഞാൻ പ്രസന്റേഷനിലേക്ക് വരും യെസ് സർ ഓക്കെ ഷാർപ് 1 യു കാൻ സ്റ്റാർട്ട് യുവർ പ്രസന്റേഷൻ സർ യാ So whenever you give me a call or something like that, I will start. Okay. Anyway, I'm on the line. Yeah. Okay. Good morning, Professor Vijay Kumar. Good you. Namaste, sir. Namaste. Hello, sir. Namaskaram. Hello. Namaskaram. Namaskaram. Great day. Thank you. Excellent program. So good of you to have agreed to address all our students, our teachers. Look forward. Your wonderful series session from you. All the best. All the best. Thank you. Sir. Parvati, ma'am. Yes, Ambli. Yes, ma'am. Shall we begin? Yeah. Yeah. Chairman, sir. Shall sir? we go ahead to that yes, sharp yes, one yes. weekend? Yes, yes. Yeah. All right, sir. Thank you, thank you. Over to you, Amli. Thank you, ma'am. A man of destiny to my motherland born, the path to glory for a nation he has shone. As a man of science, he was without peer. Never swayed by power, he worked without fear. That greatness and humility can go hand in hand. He showed us all. Proud son of our motherland. Namaste to all the dignitaries and dear students present here. A dream is not that which you see while sleeping. It is something that does not let you sleep. Dreams transform into thoughts and thoughts result in action. Born in humble circumstances in a Muslim family in rural Tamil Nadu, a young boy who sold newspapers to help his family make both ends meet. rose to the highest office in the land and he did so not through the conventional route of a political career but through the dint of hard work as a scientist in government service dr apj abdul kalam india's missile man as he was dubbed in the popular press was a rocket scientist who rose to prominence as head of the country's successful civilian space combining idiosyncratic powerpoint presentations of his vision for india's future with instructional poems for children lecturing on everything from solar energy to the importance of broadband connectivity for india's village villages and thereby igniting young minds a complete indian and embodiment of the eclecticism of india's heritage of diversity with his long silver hair unfashionably combed back and his thick tamilian accent dr apj abdul kalam was an unlikely pop culture idol let us all pay tribute to this ultra nationalist ambitious dreamer people's president dr apj abdul kalam on his 7th death anniversary by listening to the memorial lecture on rameshwaram to rashtrapati bhavan a tribute to dr apj abdul kalam by professor ambat vijay kumar emeritus professor cochin university of science and technology before we begin let's seek the blessings of the almighty
Without much ado, let me move on to the duty interested upon me. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome to our midst Professor Ambat Vijay Kumar, Emeritus Professor, Cochin University of Science and Technology, and the Management Committee member, Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan, Kochi Kendra. The second rank holder in MSc Mathematics from University of Cochin, Professor Ambat Vijay Kumar took PhD in studies in the geometry of the discrete plane from Cochin University of Science and Technology. His area of interest includes graph theory, history of mathematics, evolution of concepts, mathematics education, popularization and talent research, talent search at all levels. Professor Vijay Kumar started his career in 1986 as a lecturer in Regional Engineering College, Calicut. He joined Cochin University of Science and Technology in 1988 as a lecturer and later became the reader and professor in the same university. Professor Ampat Vijay Kumar has a wide experience in administrative level as Honorary Director, Center for Interdisciplinary Studies, CUSAT, Head of the Department of Mathematics, CUSAT, Honorary Deputy Director, Inter-University Center for Kerala Le Legacy in Astronomy and Mathematics, Honorary Deputy Director, Center for Science and Society, CUSAD. He has been an inevitable part of seminars and conferences since 2011. Graph operators and its dynamics, some recent studies in Department of Applied Mathematics and Institute for Theoretical Computer Science, Charles University, Czech Republic, generalized power domination problem in the fourth India-Taiwan conference on discrete mathematics in IIT Madras, to name a few. He has been an active life member of Indian Mathematical Society, Ramanujan Mathematical Society, Association of Mathematics Teachers of India, Kerala Mathematics Teachers Association, Cryptology Research Society of India, Academy of Discrete Mathematics and Applications, Indian Science Congress Association, and a fellow in Institute of Combinatorics and its Applications, Canada. Professor Vijay Kumar visited the universities of Manitoba, New Brunswick, Newfoundland, and Waterloo, Canada for collaborative research and lectures. He was a visiting scientist in the Department of Applied Mathematics and Institute for Theoretical Computer Science, Charles University, Czech Republic, and a member of the Indian Delegation and International Congress on Mathematical Education, South Korea. He presented papers on reciprocal graphs, teaching and learning of discrete mathematics Indian scenario, power domination in some classes of graphs, etc. Professor Ampat Vijay Kumar is actively involved in school math education as well. He has been the regional coordinator of Indian National Math Olympiad since 1990. Professor Vijay Kumar writes popular math, math articles in Malayalam and English. A meeting with the Missile Man, an interview with Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, Honorable President of India, Padhipura, a section for students in Malayalam Anorama Daily, are his top listed articles. On behalf of everyone present here, I extend a cordial welcome to you, sir. Our chairman, Sri A. Venugopal, Venugopal C. Govind, a very, a very respectful, respectable and dynamic personality, has always been in the forefront in infusing our institutions with innovative and progressive ideas. 
on behalf of everyone present here i extend a hearty welcome to you sir thank you our director sri e raman kutti whose encouragement comes to us in abundance is always with us in every step of the course we take with all my affable greetings i welcome you sir all the activities of the kochi kendra bear testimony to our collective will to actually push the boundaries my hearty welcome to shrimati meena vishwanathan academic consultant shrimati jaya jacob coordinator research center pvb kochi kendra shrimati sugumari menon shrimati girija ts shrimati usha k education officers dr rajagopal nayar dean bhavans royal institute of management dr varugi c abraham principal bhavans college of arts and commerce shrimati uma devi kp in charge bhavans nursery teachers training center members of the management committee and parent teachers association principals vice principals associate vice principals teachers and our dear students of bharati vidya bhavan kochi kendra once again i welcome one and all with utmost respect i invite our renowned speaker professor ambat vijay kumar to address the gathering so please namaste and good afternoon to all of you let me express my thanks to bharati vidya bhavan kochi kendra its chairman shri vanugopal sri govin director shri raman kuti principal of the hosting unit shrimati e parvati and coordinator shrimati indrani all members of the bharati vidya bhavan kochi kendra and all members of the big bhavans family internationally to which i also belong i have planned this memorial lecture to include biographical sketch of dr kalam and his stories of failure and successes mainly to inculcate the spirit of confidence in the students the story of dr kalam is in fact the story of indian space research organization and his unique achievements as the people's president there are many turning points in our life that on 25th september 2003 turned out to be a great day for me when i first shook hands with the first citizen of india after that i was fortunate to have many meetings with him thanks to his secretary mr r k prasad guru the one who is able to awaken wisdom in you leading you from darkness to light in this sense dr kalam is a guru for millions of people he has the unique credit of having worked in department of research and De development organization defense organization department of atomic energy indian space research organization and was inspired by giants like vikram sarabhai homi baba mg k menon to mention a few with these formal words let me come to my presentation i shall screen the share the screen now this is okay yeah let's find out yes sir if uh, the slide is visible you can if you can put it on the slide show it's it would be better sir Yeah, yeah, yeah. One second. It's okay. Yes, sir. It's absolutely fine. Okay. I I begin with a quote by Dr. Kalam. Don't read success stories. you will only get a message read failure stories you will get some ideas to get success this is one of his favorite quotes out of several quotes that he has that you see in this slide is the department of mathematics of cochin university of science and technology in which i am here for last 44 years in different forms 
As you all know, Dr. Kalam was born on 15th October 1931 and left us to the heavenly abode on 27th July 2015, this day, seven years ago. From Rameshwaram to Rashtrapati Bhavan is the title of the lecture and the journey begins now. You see in this slide on the left, the famous temple like Rameshwaram, the well-known Pamban Bridge and the seashore. In the middle, you see the house where Abdul Kalam was born. And also you see the global picture of uh, Rameshwaram, the tip of the India and the island connecting that is called the Pamban Bridge. And on the rightmost, you see the palatial Rashtrapati Bhavan. Being a teacher, I have some questions to the audience which you can answer later or so. I put a bracket two in from Rameshwaram and a bracket 340 in Rashtrapati Bhavan. Those who are heard me or not heard me, try to answer. I will give the answers if time permits later. This is all questions for thoughts. This is also dedicated to my guru, Professor Vasir Abdi, Professor and head of the department founder, who gave us, who, are, who found the divine fire in us and introduced us to great scientists of India in 1981. Seldom you find such teachers because as early as 1980, he has brought to our room the then chairman of ISRO, Professor Yuar Rao, Professor Sadish Dhawan, and so many people, and which gave us confidence to talk about mathematics and other topics. These are my humble pranams to Dr. Kalam on an article which I wrote on October 14, 2015, in Malala Manorama Padipura, and also homage to Dr. A.P. Abdul Kalam, a visionary Indian in the Science India magazine in 2016. I will introduce the several, several faces of Dr. Kalam. To start with, he as an author, author of the Wings of Fire, Ignited Minds, Turning Points, Abdul Kalam, uh, My Journey in Indomitable Spirit, and so on. And a turning point for me happened on 25th September 2003, when I formally received the, a formal letter to visit a VVIP visit of His Excellency, the President of India, given by the then district collector, Mr. Ganesh Kumar, asking me to be at Hotel Taj Malabar, Kochi, on September 25th. You also see a wonderful Guru Shishya Parampara. The world's greatest minds were first discovered by their educators. For me, that's what Dr. Kalam says. I was spotted by Dr. Vikram Sarabhai because I was not highly qualified, but I was working hard. So that was a wonderful relationship that Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, the father of rocket science in India, and Dr. Kalam had during his days. A visionary and inspiring teacher, a dreamer and doer, let me tell you, my friends, he was rejected in the interview of pilot, but later on he designed, at least as far as I know, five missiles. So this is a slide which I wanted to show to the students to give them confidence. Don't feel dejected when you fail. Let me come to the timeline of Abul Pakir Jainul Abdin Abdul Kalam a name with the 31 alphabets, which as far as I know, Mr. T. N. Session, former election commissioner of India, was the only person who was calling Kalam by this full name. He was born on October 15th, 1931, as the son of Jain Labdin and Ashiyama at Rameshwaram, had one sister and three brothers, worked as newspaper vendor, and uh, noticed an article on a British propeller aircraft, which triggered his interest in aerospace. His teacher, Siva Subhraman Ayer of Rameshwaram Elementary School says, Abdul, I know you have to go away to grow. 
does the seagull not fly across the sun alone and without a nest and there is a statement by yadurai solomon shorts matriculation school ramanadapuram to succeed in life and achieve results you must understand and master three mighty forces desire belief and expectation he went to st joseph's school trichy from 1950 to 54 and took his bsc degree in physics and then madras institute of technology in aerospace engineering he was senior scientific assistant in directorate of technical development and production in 1958 his first job and he served as a rocket engineer in indian committee for space research in cospa he was elevated to the principal scientific advisor to the government of india in 1999 and he joined drdo in 1960 and designed a small helicopter called hovercraft for indian army he was transferred to isro in 1969 and became the first project director of first slv to put the rohini satellite in near earth orbit in july 1980 he is also the brain behind the design of agni prithvi trishul nag and akash to look at the accession of dr kalam from an ordinary citizen of india to that of the rashtrapati bhavan as the president was a very herculean task at least as far as we know there were several people contesting for the job including pc alexander and so many people but finally the choice came to dr kalam he received his bharat ratna in 1997 from dr k r narayanan the then president and uh, the on the right you see the swearing in ceremony of the dr kalam as the 11th president in 2000 two seldom we, we know about the structure of bharat ratna so let me sp- spend a second bharat ratna an image of the sun along with the words bharat ratna inscribed in devanagari script on a paper leaf a platinum state emblem of india placed in the center with the national motto satyameva jayade and the first three recipients of bharat ratna in 1954 was sri sri rajagopal ajari Yes, Ratha Krishnan and C. V. Ram. He rose from a humble beginning of a newspaper boy to Indian president. He was awarded Padma Bhushan in 1981, Padma Vibhushan in 1990, and Bharat Ratna in 1997. And he was chief scientific advisor from 1992 to 1999, and elevated as the 11th president of India. on 25th july 2002 if you see the names of few presidents of india who is the supreme commander of the indian armed forces we start with rajendra prasad dr sarvepalli radhakrishnan dr shankar dayar sharma sri kwacheril raman narayanan and dr rahul pakir jain labdin abdul kalam and most recently just two days ago shrimati draupadi murmu is taking over as the president of india 15th president of india so we had the galaxy of people who served as the president of india but he was a different president popularly known as the people's present president who wanted to be along with children always and he was interested in talking to students rather than to ordinary other people as i said the story of dr kalam is also the story of isro to start with 1971 we had vikram sarabhai space center which had its beginning in from tumba equatorial rocket launching station tulls in 1962 which was renamed as vssc in 1971 all students know that tumba was picked as the launch site for surrounding sounding rockets because of its location on the geomagnetic equator is another project was called smiling buddha operation smiling buddha pokhran 1 that was a code word for the first successful nuclear bomb test on 18th may 1974 the bomb was detonated on the army base pokhran test range in rajasthan look at the beginning of isro in 1969 you see on the left 
first rocket launch on 21st November 1963. And uh, on 22nd July 2019, we had Chandrayaan-2. We had a galaxy of people heading the prestigious Aizaro, starting with Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, Sadish Dhawan, Professor U. R. Rao, Dr. Kasturi Rangan, Dr. G. Madhavan Nair, Dr. Radha Krishnan, and now we have a young, dynamic, Kerala-like, a famous rocket uh, scientist, Mr. Somanath, as the chairman of ISRO. Out of the six people mentioned in this photo, I'm very happy to let you all know that I've met at five of them when some of them came to Cochin University. One good thing that one uh, very unexpected and surprising thing which I ISRO did recently was, look at the fate of the Biju Patnaik International Airport on October, sorry, May 4, 2019, which was hit by Fanny Cyclone. But with the timely intervention of five Indian satellites of ISRO, by keeping a constant eye on the system as it brewed into Cyclone Fanny, they gave a prediction warning, and that could very much reduce the toll in the Fanny cyclone to just six. See here, photos of Kalam with the pioneers of space research, several photos with Dr. Kasturi Rangan. Dr. Madhavan Nair, and many others. These are photos of Dr. Kalam with world leaders, Barack Obama, George Bush, Dalai Lama, Putin, and the then Prime Minister, Dr. Manmohan Singh, Nelson Mandela, and so on. Now come to his famous integrated guided missile development uh, program started in 1980. And Dr. Kalam, who had previously been the project director of the SLV-3 program at ISRO, was integrated as the DRDL director in 1983 responsible for short-range surface-to-surface missile, short-range lower-level surface-to-air missile Trishul, and medium-range surface-to-air missile, and third-generation anti-tank missile. These are the photos of the famous missiles of India, Agni, Nad, Akash, and Prithvi. Another project of Dr. Kalam is Brahmos Airspace Limited, 1988-98 a joint venture of DRDO and NPOIM of Russia under the name of Brahmos Aerospace. You know, Brahmos missile is named after two rivers, the Indian river Brahmaputra and the Russian river Moskava. I have shown the photo of Russian river Moskava. If you look at the great mentors of Dr. Kalam, the first name that we come across is that of Dr. Vikram Sarabhai who we celebrated 100th birth anniversary in 2019. And he was chair of INCOSPA and Atomic Energy Commission, father of Indian rocketry, founder of Sarabhai Chemicals, Physical Research Laboratory and Indian Institute of Management Ahmedabad and Space Application Center Ahmedabad. Then comes Brahma Prakash, who was the first director of VSSC. You see the photos of Dr. Vikram Sarabhai and the Professor Brahma Prakash there. And MG, MGK Menon FRS, Chairman ISRO, Director TAFR and DRDO, President of the Indian Statistical Institute and Scientific Advisor, Defense Minister, and Minister for Science and Technology. Then Sadish Dhawan, who has a wonderful profile, starting with BSc Mathematics and Physics. He took MA in English, BE in Mechanical Engineering, MS in Aeronautical Engineering, PhD in Aeronautics and Mathematics from Caltech, he was Chairman ISRO in 1972, and director of IIC and chairman of Indian Academy of Sciences. Now the famous Sri Harikota Center is named after him called Sadish Dhawan Space Center. You see Madam Indira Gandhi, Dr. M.G.K. Menon and Professor Sadish Dhawan on the top. Something interesting happened now. After the success of the launch of India's first SLV-3 on 18th July 1980 from Shar, a meeting was arranged with Prime Minister Sadish Dhawan and Professor M.G. Kemena. So then Dr. Kalam, who was already famous for his introvertness, told that I had a small problem to do with my clothes. I was dressed casually 
wearing slippers, not suitable attire to meet the PM, Madam Gandhi. Then Professor Sadish Dhawan, who knows Dr. Kalam very well, told that you are beautifully clothed in your success. So don't worry about your formal clothes. He got distinguished honorary degrees from several institutions to honorary doctorate of science from University of Wolverhampton, UK, King Charles II medal in 2007, honorary doctor of engineering from Nanyan Technological University, Singapore in 2008. And he received honorary doctorates from 40 universities from India and abroad. Doctor of Engineering from University of Waterloo, Honorary Doctor of Laws from Simon Fraser University, Canada, and Honorary Doctor of Science, University of Edinburgh, Scotland in 2014, which happened to be the last honorary doctorate for Dr. Kalam. In honor of Dr. Kalam, Switzerland has declared May 26 as the Science Day in honor of visiting President Dr. Kalam. Tamil Nadu state government announced that his birthday would be observed across the country as Youth Renaissance Day. And Wheeler Island, a national missile test site on Odisha, renamed as Abdul Kalam Island. And our government paid tribute to him by establishing a technological university, Abdul Kalam Kerala Technological University in 2014 in Trent. We at Cochin, we have Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Marg, I don't want to tell you where it is. Young students, you please explore and find it out. He had several projects. One is famous is Pura, the idea of providing urban amenities to rural areas, which has been very well take on, take, taken over by the Canadian government. And what you see is a book on smart villages on greater urgency in light of the investments made in this millennium on smart cities and taking advantage of the technological advances, particularly in digital connectivity. So that is a book by Springer with co-author Professor Kumar Murthy, who is currently the director of the prestigious Fields, Fields Institute in Mathematics in, what, in Canada. If, if you look at some interesting episodes in his life, you may all know that uh, in 1998, the then PM Atal Bihari Vajpayee invited Dr. Kalam to join his cabinet. He politely denied saying that he is busy with two missions of national importance, which he didn't want to leave. Then PM replied, I appreciate your feelings. Go ahead. God bless you. But after four years, he was again approached by Sri Atalji in 2002 while he was visiting the Anna University in Chennai and he was taking rest after taking a class. PM called him over phone and expressed the desire of the NDA to choose Dr. Kalam as the next president. He wanted the choice to be unanimous, and you all know the history. There was an election formally, but he won the presidency with thumping majority. This is the combination Dr. Manmohan Singh and Dr. Kalam, who says that I worked very closely with Dr. Kalam as prime minister and I greatly benefited from his advice as president of our country, who great scholars. This is an interesting story between Nambi Narayanan and uh, Dr. Kalam. Nambi Narayanan wanted Kalam to marry, but then Kalam told Nambi Narayanan, you please stop smoking. As you all know, Sri Nambi Narayanan is the brain behind the Vikas engine, VIK starting from Vikram Sarabhai who's the PSLV that took Chandrayaan-1 to the moon in 2008. You have a Kalam Raju stent, which is a coronary stent named after Soma Raju and Dr. Kalam. In 2012, they designed a rugged tablet computer for healthcare in rural areas, which was named as Kalam Raju tablet. This is a very interesting thing in his term as the president. He had to address uh, 785 representatives of the European Union on 25th April 2007 on the title Dynamics of the Unity of Nation. This is described in the book Turning Points. 
as usual talk was very much appreciated by the international community and something surprising is that it is reliably learned that the draft of the lecture was corrected by himself at least 30 times that shows his interesting in giving lectures to an international community he was also the brain behind the establishment of indian institute of space science and technology at trivandrum and uh, dr kalam was the first chancellor it is the first university in asia to be solely dedicated to the study and research of outer space this is another project of dr kalam rashtri avishkar abhay the pressure of giving a program launched by ministry of human resource development that aims to inculcate a spirit of inquiry creativity and love for science and math in school children launched by dr kalam in may 2012 kalam launched a program for the youth of india called the what can i give movement not what can i get movement with a central theme of defeating corruption and idea of giving among the youth the youth should enjoy the pressure of giving in whatever form either as money or as food or education whatever way you possible you try to give to others what can i give movement the movement strive to replace the attitude of greed and corruption that comes from the thought what can i take with an attitude eponymous with the initiative in his book india 2020 kalam strongly advocated an action plan to develop india into a knowledge superpower and a developed nation by the year 2020 this is the photo of his first phd student and possibly the only phd student father george who is now working as a faculty in an engineering college in north india he was the only phd student of dr kalam when dr kalam was in service i know i know mr george father george very well and in fact he told me that he wanted to enjoy the company of dr kalam so he purposefully delayed submission of his uh, thesis This is the photo of his second PhD student who was awarded doctorate after the demise of Dr. Kalam. That is Mr. Ponraj, along with Dr. Kalam. This is Mr. Prasad. These are the co authors of Dr. Kalam Dr. Vyas Rajan on the left. Most topmost, followed by C. They have written books on various aspects of science, technology, and life and philosophy, what not, along with Dr. Kalam. These are the photos of Dr. Kalam with his friends, his guru, Vikram Sarabhai. You know, on the left below, down, you see Dr. Vikram Sarabhai and Dr. Kalam. He's is minister and Dr. minister and you now see down photo of dr kalam with our for, uh, present prime minister sri narendra modi this is the several photos of Dr. Kalam on different occasions, see Dr. Kalam playing Veena and the down there are photos with him dressed as a pilot ready to take the Sukhoi aircraft, then sitting for uh, his prayers and then photo wearing clothes of Indian Army and photo in front of the DRDL, Defense Research Devel Development Laboratory and photo in the form in the making of a designing of a missile. These are my personal photos which I kept a secret till his demise. On the left you see 
I was fortunate enough to sit with Dr. Kalam on a stage in the Golden Jubilee celebration of St. Xavier's College, Alua, in 2013. And also when he came to Alua, near Alua, Paravur, by the interest of the MLA Srivadi, Sri Sadishan, he inaugurated the Shastrayan project in 2011, which uh, gave better connectivities to 21 schools in his constituency. Each school in Paravur constituency have a space park, Butterfly Park, Math Lab, specially designed for inculcating interest in the science subject. On the left, you see the first meeting with Dr. Kalam when he was the president. The meeting took place at uh, Taj Malabar in Cochin on 25th September 2003. And on the right, you see the, our last meeting, which I never thought that that would be a last meeting. That was on 4th June 2013 at Government Guest House Ernakulam. To sum up, we describe Dr. Kalam as a unique man dreaming a corruption free India. His quotes are famous If a country is to be corruption free and become a nation of beautiful minds, I strongly feel that there are three key societal members who can make a difference. They are the father, the mother, and the teacher. And the teaching community to which I belong, let me tell you, my fellow teachers, that we occupy two thirds in the sense that we are a teacher as well as a father or a mother. So we teachers have the responsibility of dreaming a corruption free India to make India the most beautiful place in the world to live. As you all know, our Dr. Kalam left us to the heavenly abode on 27th July 2015. He was traveling to Shillong to deliver a lecture on creating a livable planet Earth at the Indian Institute of Management. At around 6.35 p.m., only five minutes into his lecture, he collapsed. He was rushed to the nearby Bethany Hospital in a critical condition, but Kalam was confirmed dead of a sudden cardiac arrest at 7.45 p.m. Very interestingly and very surprisingly, his last words were supposed to be to his aide, Srijan Pal Singh. Funny guy, are you doing well? He didn't bother about his own health. As I understand, they were traveling for kilometers together in a very empty, empty road. So instead of taking care of his own health, what he asked his friend aid was, are you doing well? That is the, that clearly reveals the character of uh, Dr. Kalan. This is Pranam Mukherjee's paying tributes to Dr. Kalan. As you all no, his family efforts should be to give wings to this fire. So paying tributes and paying home. Let me conclude, remind you that we are celebrating the 75th year of Indian independence in the name of Asadika Amrit Mahorsa. I thank you all my dear students and all those patiently heard me. And uh, we all should be proud to be an Indian. And you see the Prithvi rock satellite missile with the statue of Dr. Kalam. This is again another question. Where do you find this uh, statue of Dr. Kalam in Cochin itself? So thank you all. And uh, I stop here. So any discussion or Anything is all okay with me? Over to Bhavan Seru. Thank you, sir, for enlightening us with your words of wisdom. We are sure that your words will surely propel the young minds to know more about the great scientist. Moreover, a noble man 
and follow his ideologies. Thank you, sir. Next, we have a video presentation, Shraddhanjali, a song penned by Srimadhi S. Sadi Devi, retired head of the department, Malayalam, Bhavans Adarsha Vidyalaya, Kakanad, and sung by the renowned Carnatic vocalist, Sri Manyumal B. Mohanan. രാമേശ്വരത്തെ പവിത്രമായ മണ്ണിൽ സാധാരണ കുടുംബത്തിൽ ജനിച്ച് മിടുക്കനായ വിദ്യാർത്ഥിയായി വളർന്ന് പേരുകേട്ട ശാസ്ത്രജ്ഞനായി ഭാരതത്തിൻ്റെ രാഷ്ട്രപതി വരെയായ അനേകം തലമുറകൾക്ക് ആവേശമായി ദേശസ്നേഹത്തിൻ്റെ രാഷ്ട്ര സമർപ്പണത്തിൻ്റെ അമൃത സ്രോതസ്സായി മാറിയ എ പി ജെ അബ്ദുൾ കലാമിൻ്റെ പുണ്യസ്മരണയ്ക്കു മുന്നിൽ പ്രണാമങ്ങൾ അർപ്പിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് രാമഭക്തനായ ശ്രീമത് ത്യാഗരാജസ്വാമികളുടെ വാക്കുകൾ കടമെടുത്ത് ചന്ദ്രഹാരം അദ്ദേഹത്തെ വാഴ്ത്തുന്നു എന്തരോ മഹാനുഭാവം ആലാപനം മഞ്ഞുമ്മൽ ശ്രീ ബി മോഹനൻ എഫ് എ സി ടിയിൽ നിന്ന് വിരമിച്ച പ്രശസ്ത കർണാടക സംഗീതജ്ഞനും കവിയുമായ മോഹനൻ സാർ കാവ്യാലാപനം അക്ഷരശ്ലോകം കാവ്യകേളി എന്നീ വേദികളിൽ സജീവമായി പങ്കെടുത്തു പോരുന്നത് കൂടാതെ പുതുതലമുറയെ ഈ രംഗത്തേക്ക് ആകർഷിക്കാൻ അവർക്ക് വേണ്ടത്ര ശിക്ഷണം കൊടുക്കുകയും ചെയ്യുന്നു പശ്ചാത്തലത്തിൽ എന്തൊരു മഹാനുഭാവലു പല്ലവി പാടിയത് ശ്രീ സുദീപ് ബി എന്തൊരു മഹാനുഭാവലു മൂല്യങ്ങൾ സ്വപ്നങ്ങളും അഗ്നിപത്രമായി മാറ്റും ഹേ മഹാമനുഷ്യാ കലാം കൈവണങ്ങുന്നേ മൂല്യങ്ങൾ സ്വപ്നങ്ങളും അഗ്നിപത്രമായി മാറ്റും ഹേ മഹാമനുഷ്യാ കലാം കൈവണങ്ങുന്നേ ജ്വലിക്കും മനസ്സുകൾ പ്രീതരായി ഉൾക്കൊള്ളുന്നു പുകഴ്ത്തിപ്പറയുന്നു തവദർശനൗഖത്തെ ജ്വലിക്കും മനസ്സുകൾ പ്രീതരായി ഉൾക്കൊള്ളുന്നു പുകഴ്ത്തിപ്പറയുന്നു തവദർശനൗഖത്തെ മതങ്ങൾക്കതീതമാം സംസ്കാരമെന്നല്ലയോ മതിമാൻ പഠിപ്പിച്ചു ഞങ്ങളെ മഹാസത്യം പ്രായത്തോടൊപ്പം വർധമാനമായി തീർന്നു ഭവത്പ്രാവീണ്യം പുണ്യന്മാവേ മാമക പ്രണാമങ്ങൾ പ്രായത്തോടൊപ്പം വർധമാനമായി തീർന്നു ഭവത്പ്രാവീണ്യം പുണ്യന്മാവേ മാമക പ്രണാമങ്ങൾ പുണ്യന്മാവേ മാമക പ്രണാമങ്ങൾ ഭാരതം കുതിക്കുവാൻ കഠിനധ്വാനം ചെയ്യുവാൻ ഭാവിയെ പടുക്കുവാൻ മാതൃകയായി അങ്ങും സർവതി മീതെ പെറ്റ നാടെന്നതറിയാനും സ്വയമേ നന്നാടാനും ഞങ്ങളെ പഠിപ്പിച്ചു രാമേശ്വരത്തെ വാനും ഭൂമിയും കാറ്റും ചേർന്ന് രാഷ്ട്രശില്പിയായ അങ്ങേ വാർത്തെടുത്തല്ലോ പുണ്യം രാമഭക്തന ശ്രീമത്യാഗരാജൻ തൻവാണി ഈ മഹാനുഭാവനും ചേരുമെന്നതേ ഭാഗ്യം രാമേശ്വരത്തെ വാനും ഭൂമിയും കാറ്റും ചേർന്ന് രാഷ്ട്രശില്പിയായ അങ്ങേ വാർത്തെടുത്തല്ലോ പുണ്യം രാമഭക്തന ശ്രീമത്യാഗരാജൻ തൻവാണി ഈ മഹാനുഭാവനും ചേരുമെന്നതേ ഭാഗ്യം രാമഭക്തന ശ്രീമത്യാഗരാജൻ തൻവാണി 
ഈ മഹാനുഭാവനും ചേരുമെന്നതേ ഭാഗ്യം ഈ മഹാനുഭാവനും ചേരുമെന്നതേ ഭാഗ്യം We just watched Sraddhanjali, a video presentation of poetry penned by Srimadhi S. Sadhi Devi, retired head of the department Malayalam, Bhavan Sadrashi Vidyalaya Kakanad, and sung by the renowned Karnatic vocalist, Sri Manyamal B. Mohanan. Thank you, Sadhi Devi Miss, for the lovely song. Thank you. Is she with us now? Yes, sir. focus uh she is i think she is not in a position to okay this one or video sir right, but right. she is no, now she is very really thankful over to yeah. you satinis satinis do you have something to say on this ah uh, yeah namaskaram okay, sir it is beautiful wonderful we appreciate very much Thank how you. How nicely written and how nicely sung and so mm-hmm. graciously brought out every aspect of it. Well done. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Thanks a Thank lot. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I didn't say anything. 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 Okay. Thank you. I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. request I request everyone to enable the camera for a photo session. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. May I invite Srimadhi Vini Yasnaya, Head of the Department of Mathematics, to propose a vote of thanks. Thank you, Ampli. Gratitude is not only the greatest of virtues, but the parent of all others. Respected guest of honor, Dr. Ambat Vijay Kumar, Emeritus Professor, Cochin University of Science and Technology, Sri C.A. Venugopal C. Govind, Chairman, Bharadiya Vidya Bhavan, Kochi Kendra, 
ಶ್ರೀ ಇ ರಾಮನ್ ಕುಟ್ಟಿ ಡಿರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ವಿ ವಿ ಬಿ ಕೊಚ್ಚಿ ಕೇಂದ್ರ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ಮೀನಾ ವಿಶ್ವನಾಥನ್ ಅಕಾಡೆಮಿಕ್ ಕನ್ಸಲ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ಜಯಾ ಜೇಕಬ್ ಕೋಆರ್ಡಿನೇಟರ್ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ವಿ ವಿ ಬಿ ಕೊಚ್ಚಿ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ರೇಣುಕಾಯನ್ ಮೇನನ್ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ಸುಕುಮಾರಿ ಮೇನನ್ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ಉಷಾ ಕೆ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ಗಿರಿಜಾ ಟಿ ಎಸ್ ಎಜುಕೇಶನ್ ಆಫೀಸರ್ಸ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ರಾಜಗೋಪಾಲ್ ನಾಯರ್ ಡೀನ್ ಭಾವನ್ಸ್ ರಾಯಲ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ವರ್ಗೀ ಸಿ ಅಬ್ರಹಾಂ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ಭಾವನ್ಸ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಆರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಾಮರ್ಸ್ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ಉಮಾದೇವಿ ಕೆ ಪಿ ಇನ್ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಭಾವನ್ಸ್ ನರ್ಸರಿ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಟ್ರೈನಿಂಗ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಕಮಿಟಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ಸ್ ವೈಸ್ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ಸ್ ಅಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ವೈಸ್ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ಸ್ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಇಟ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಮೀ ಇಮೆನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೆಷರ್ ಟು ಡೆಲಿವರ್ ವೋಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ದೋಸ್ ಅಸೆಂಬ್ಲಿಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ವುಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಅಂಬಾಟ್ ವಿಜಯ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಎಮೆರಿಟಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಕೊಚ್ಚಿನ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೆಮೋರಿಯಲ್ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ ರಾಮೇಶ್ವರಂ ಟು ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರಪತಿ ಭವನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಫಾರ್ಮರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಮಿಸೈಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಎ ಪಿ ಜಿ ಅಬ್ದುಲ್ ಕಲಾಂ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯುವರ್ ನಾಲೆಜಬಲ್ ಸ್ಕಾಲರ್ಡಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಎರುಡೈಟ್ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ ಡೆಮಾನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಐ ಆಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮ್ಲಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಫುಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ವೆರಿ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಿ ಎ ವೇಣುಗೋಪಾಲ್ ಸಿ ಗೋವಿಂದ್ ಚೇರ್ಮನ್ ಭಾರತೀಯ ವಿದ್ಯಾಭವನ್ ಕೊಚ್ಚಿ ಕೇಂದ್ರ ಇನ್ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಂ ಅಮಿಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಬಿಸಿ ಸ್ಕೆಡ್ಯೂಲ್ಸ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯುವರ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಬಲ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು I extend my gratitude on behalf of everybody present here to Sri E. Raman Kuti, Director of Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan Kochi Kendra. Thank you, sir, for all the support and guidance given to us. I also wish to thank Srimadhi Meena Vishwanathan, Academic Consultant. Thank you, madam, for your precious presence in the program. I thank Srimadhi Jaya Jacob, Coordinator, Research Center, BVB Kochi, for her valuable presence in this memorial lecture thank you madam i thank shrimati renukayan menon shrimati sukumari menon shrimati usha k shrimati girija ts education officers for their priceless presence in this program thank you mini thank you madam i am very grateful to dr rajagopal nayar dean bavans royal institute of management for his esteemed presence i thank dr vargi c abraham principal principal bhavans college of arts and commerce for his precious presence in this program i extend my gratitude to shrimati uma devi kp in charge bhavans nursery teachers training center for attending this great lecture i would like to thank the members of the managing management committee and parent teachers association for their valuable presence i extend my gratitude to all the participants all the principals vice principals and assistant vice principals of our sister institutions for attending this program thank you many ways i would like to thank shrimati sati devi retired hod malayalam bhavans adarsh vidyalaya kakkanad who has penned a poem as a tribute to dr apj abdul kalam and sri manimal b mohanen who has rented the poem for us thank, thank you. you ma'am thank you thank you ma'am i thank our principal shrimati parvati vice principal shrimati indrani haridas and assistant vice principal shrimati jitita veji for their encouragement and and unstinting support thank you minimus i wish to express my thanks to all the teachers and students for attending this valuable lecture i'm signing off with a quote by dr apj abdul kalam success is when your signature changes to photograph once again thank you all thank you very much great wonderful nanai professor vijay okay, kumar excellent program thank you for the initiative thank you for your time very well organized madam parvati Thank yeah. you. Yeah. They did a good job. They did a good job. For all the technical management. Good program. And of course, our director who is uh, guiding and uh, inspiring, pushing all of them to have such good programs. Thank you, Raman Guti. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And leave it out. Oh, yeah. So you have a question. Okay, please. what the mind can conceive and believe 
and the heart desires, you can definitely achieve. The will to win, the desire to succeed, the urge to reach your full potential are the keys that will unlock the door to personal excellence. On this note, let's conclude today's program. Thank you all once again for joining us today. I now request everyone to disable your camera and rise for the national anthem. Thank you. Shubhanamir